Hello Capricorn and welcome to your monthly tarot reading. So we're going to be looking at the energy for November 2022. I'm very happy to finally be doing the Capricorn reading. You know how much I love <laughs> your energy. So let's dive in Capricorn. Let's see first, what is the general energy for this month? Capricorn. November 2022. What is the general? Oh, okay. Look at what fell out of the deck. We have the Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Sun. You know what? Usually I would put the cards back in the deck. They fell for a reason. So this is your general energy. A lot of things happening, a lot of energy. So I'm not going to ignore that. Listen, the first card that fell was the sun. I love that. It's it's definitely, I feel, what will be coming out of you pushing through something. You know, we go from the seven of cups to the eight of cups here. Um, and the king of pentacles. So what am I seeing here? Those two cards, they work so good together. You know, the seven of cups is about our desires, the things that we want. When we tell ourselves, oh, I would be so much happier if I only had this thing. I would feel so much better about myself if I only changed this part of me. Um, Seven of Cups is a lot about that. And with the Eight of Cups, what happens is that we move out of those um, needs, the things that we thought we wanted, and we're opening up to an option that's even better than that. And seeing the King of Pentacles, which is one of your power cards. This is like you, Capricorn, standing in your power, being the full grown tree. Nothing can bring you down. You know, think about a tree, literally, in the roots. You are unstoppable, unshakable at the end of the month. Because again, something is changing about you feeling like you need something to be complete. And that's so far from the truth, Capricorn. And I say it all the time, you are a badass. So the sun and the king of pentacles. I definitely feel like the challenge for you this month is to trust that whatever is meant for you will find you. And again, that you don't need to change anything about your appearance. You don't necessarily need um, to change something materialistic to be complete. You're already the full grown tree, my friend. So something about your desires, something about the things that you feel you need to change about yourself um, I think that you're finding balance. It's no coincidence here that there's the moon on the Eight of Cups and the sun here. Um, I think that you're very, very balanced and very grounded. But, you know, we're in Scorpio season, Capricorn. A lot of stuff is coming up to the surface. The things that we didn't deal with in the past, um, it's going to be coming up. I don't know if you're already feeling the energy, you know, the eclipse, everything happening. It's very heavy. It's it's very ectic mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I don't know if you've been feeling that, Capricorn. Know that you're not alone. But this month is going to be bringing a lot of revelations for you. It's kind of opening the door to a different path. Chariot, Three of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely supported not only by yourself in this moment, but by the invisible. You know, the Three of Cups to me is like angels, guides, your, the universe, your ancestors. And the Chariot is really about what's holding you, what is supporting you. So this month, you're going to be very focused on that. Who is supporting me? Who is rooting for me? Who makes me feel like I am good enough? Like I don't need to change anything about myself to be good enough. This is uh, the people that you want around you. I like that. As much as you're grounded and, and I feel very secure by the end of the month, 
there's still this vulnerable aspect that's coming through. It could, it can be a very emotional month in a sense of, um, you know, being a little bit overwhelmed with your feelings. Nothing too scary, of course. I think it's a good thing. Let the feelings come up. Don't push them away. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Seven of Pentacles came in the reverse. So, <sighs> Nine of Swords. This is my card that comes through when I am very overwhelmed about something. And this card to me means you're not alone. Especially with, with everything that's happening in the world right now, Capricorn, it's like we experience not only our feelings, you know, the, our stories, our stuff, but we also experience everything from around the world, looking at the news and, and feeling like the energy is heavy. Let's just be honest. Right now, it's like a very scary time. So some days you might feel like you don't understand why. Your nervous system is all over the place. You could be having very intense dreams. Capricorn, you guys, um, a lot of you guys have very vivid dreams, premonitions in your dreams. Be aware of that. I always tell you, but this month there's something here about that. Um, you know, dreams are like, it, it's the way that we clear our nervous system. Dreams are like this nervous system garbage, literally. So the things that need to come out, the things that need to be released, you're going to be noticing that a lot in your dreams. So be aware of that. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like um, there could be moments where you're very impatient this month with other people. Again, if you are in your head a lot about not being good enough or about having to change something about yourself, you could be, you know, getting a, a little um, pissed off or nervous, anxious around people. I feel like there's this solitary, independent energy about you this month. I don't know why it's coming up very strongly uh, intuitively for me right now. Like, I can do this myself. I need a little bit of time alone. I need to focus on me. I don't want to be around people. This is what I'm getting right now. I don't know. Hierophant. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting because I just said that you want to be alone and the Hierophant came through, which in the traditional version, the Hierophant is the first card in the story of the tarot that, you know, there's other people on this card. So you might want and need time alone, but it feels like people don't necessarily want to give you that time. A lot of people need you. High Priestess, look at that. This is the solitary energy of the tarot. You're going to do everything you can this month to have as much alone time as possible. And I think that's a good thing. I think that you should definitely respect that if it's something that you want. I'm not saying you're alone, you're going to be lonely. I'm saying that there's this independence this month. There's this need to reflect. And again, I feel like other people can get on your nerve very easily this month. Be aware of that. Um... It's totally fine if you need some time alone. I'm not sure that everyone is going to be, you know, in alignment with you needing and wanting that. Make yourself be her. You know, the Hierophant is about the throat chakra. If you feel like it's getting too overwhelming to have people around you, just say it. I need some time alone right now. It's not about you. Don't take it personal. It's about me. I just need to be with myself. Um... Again, you're dealing with a lot. A lot of things are coming up to the surface, old beliefs, old stories about you not being good enough. And I feel like, again, this is what you're going to need. Page of Cups, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you are going to experience a little bit of stress around body image. 
not feeling pretty enough or not feeling like you have energy. Again, it's not a warning. It's not something that's negative. I really feel like this month, your body is going to be very clear with what it needs. I need more sleep. I need more care. I need time alone. You're going to experience that in your nervous system. Your mind is, is going to be a little all over the place. Um, the page of cups. And the page of cups to me is a lot about the inner child. It feels like, um, I don't know why I'm seeing that right now. Literally, I have this image in my head of a kid hiding under a table. Like there's too much noise. There's too many people. Give me a break. So definitely this month could be a month where you feel like you need a freaking break. Too much is going on. Um, and I like that you're going to be definitely using your voice and being clear about your needs this month. This is definitely, again, a way that you're going to be achieving balance. Because it's not easy to tell someone, especially if this person lives with you, like, hey, it's not about you. I need a break. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed right now just being, you know, in my own shoes, in my own body. I need you to respect that. Other people's reaction are going to tell you a lot also um, about where they're standing. I feel like if this person gets offended or triggered when you say that, it's their own story. It's their own things that they need to deal with. Again, remember what I told you with the Nine of Swords. You're not alone, Capricorn. We're all going through some type of, how can I say that? We're all trying to ride the wave. Scorpio season, again, all things coming up to the surface. It's like this, this big tornado of feelings, of old stories. Um, and we're just trying to ride the wave. We're all trying to do the best we can, but sometimes the mind, the ego, it gets in the way. I feel like, again, at the end of the month, there's this revelation happening. And I want to pick more cards about that because I feel it's very important. The fact that you're going to be requesting, demanding some time alone, some private time, is definitely going to bring something very amazing. It feels like it's opening some type of door for you. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Tell me more about Capricorn. I want to know more about the Sun card and the King of Pentacles. I want to know what is what this is all about. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Yeah, reclaiming your individuality. King of Cups. Okay, a lot of King energy. Two of Pentacles. You've been doing too much. And it's not necessarily your choice. There's so many things that you know you have to do. Two of pentacles to me is like, hey, you only have two hands. Like, okay, you want to do it all. You want to show up for everyone. But at the end of the day, you know, you're not a magician. You're a human. It's like, okay, I only have two hands. I'm trying to take care of myself. And... I don't know if this month I can be as productive. I don't know if I can be as available for everyone around me. I am just trying to, you know, feel better and take care of myself. Hmm. It's weird what I'm feeling right now, Capricorn. It's like there's so much noise. Is there a con construction happening around your house, I don't know. This is like the energy I'm getting. There's so much noise and you just want some peace and quiet. Like this is the thing you want the most right now. Um, you know, if you close your eyes, you can picture yourself on a beach, um, just relaxing, hearing the waves, connecting with nature. It's like this is the fantasy right now. Seven of Wands, you know, fighting for what you truly want. And right now, this is what you want. Peace, quiet. And it feels, I'm going to be honest, it feels like there's a little bit of frustration when people are needing advice from you. They need you to help them do something. And in your mind, you're like, well, I, I always take care of myself. Like, why aren't you able to do those things for yourself? 
Why do you always need me? There's someone who's a little codependent, who kinds of, it feels like they need you all the time. It feels like it's a one way you give, 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 but they don't really know how to give back. Um, it feels like in their head, in their mind, it's like, well, I love Capricorn, that's enough, you know? If they need me, and if they ask me, I'm going to be there for them. Well, you don't always feel like asking. There's a lot of things that feels like common sense uh, that this person is not giving back in a way. This is what I'm getting here. It can create a lot of frustration, but I feel like you're keeping a lot of that to yourself. You don't want to fight. You don't have the energy to fight Capricorn. And I don't listen. I'm, I'm right here with you. Right here with you. King of Cups. Again, you're very balanced between being grounded and also acknowledging, being aware of your feelings this month. A lot is going to be coming up, my friend. A lot is going to be coming up. And I'm not saying that as a warning. I think it's coming up because you're ready to face a lot of stuff. You're ready to clear a lot of, I don't want to say, a lot of stuff. And with the Eight of Cups here, this is it. This is like you releasing and letting go of the things that don't serve you anymore. It could be a specific friendship. It could be a connection, a co-worker, whatever it is. Someone who's been taking so much of your time and energy away from you. And now you're reclaiming that very powerful and it's not easy it's not something that's easy for you to do um because again you've always been there for this person always been there for this person it feels like they always need confirmation from you to take action around something hmm very interesting very interesting because I'm, I'm feeling like you're going to tell them, can you take care of yourself this month just a little bit more? Can you help me a little bit more around the house? Can you try to do this thing alone? Like, do you really need me all the time? Again, it's kind of a buildup of frustration. You're working on your patience. Again, definitely focusing on balance. I think that you're very aware when you get pissed. You don't get pissed for no reason. You definitely accumulate stuff. And when it's, when it's too much, it's too much. It explodes. So I think that this month, you're going to be working a lot around your emotions, your feelings. Like, okay, how can I make sure that I don't get to the point where <laughs> I literally implode? And I go off on the people. Because um, again, we're all going through the same thing. I think that this person, this other person's energy that I'm feeling, it's not like they, they're doing it on purpose. They're also going through a lot of things. Their nervous system is also all over the place. And they always count it on you for support. But I feel like it, it became a little bit too much. It's just a little bit unbalanced now. Again, it's not that it's negative. It's just very overwhelming. So this month, you're going to be focused on filling your cup. Five of swords in the reverse and the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Who am I if I'm not there for this person all the time? What are the things that I want to do? What can I put more time and energy on? My passions. Um... What would I do if my brain wasn't always telling me, like, you need to take care of this person. You need to be there for them. Again, they have good intentions. I don't think that they're making you feel like you need to be there for them, like you owe them something. I think that relationship, this relationship just grew into becoming that. Uh, and if you have kids, like, of course, you know, they could be very demanding. That's just, you know, the game. Um, but you're going to have your time alone and it's going to take all you have to be clear and to not get pissed and just say this month, 
I need, I need you to slow down with your requests, with your needs. I need you to just, you know, take care of yourself just a little bit more. Um, I need more time for self-care. I need more time to focus on the things that I love doing because I've been pushing them aside, really. Um, you could be making more time for a spiritual practice. Uh, you could be trying to find a way to make more money, finding some type of side hustle. Um, I like that. I think that you're definitely going to be putting some energy into something productive. I like that. Um, trust your own wisdom, Capricorn. Trust that you have the answers within you, especially if you're kind of looking for something. You know, I go back to the Seven of Cups, but Seven of Cups is really when we believe that something external is going to make us feel better. You have it all in you. You have the answers. You have the wisdom. Um, but I feel like you've been so drained out recently that, especially in October, I don't know. I don't know if you connect with that message, but it feels like the month of October was like very intense emotionally. There was always something. There was always someone who needed help, always something that wasn't quite working the way it should. Um... So this month, this is how you're standing in your power, being clear with what you want, knowing that everyone is going to be okay while you're, you're taking care of yourself and focusing on the things that you want. It feels like you've been wanting to put time and energy into a new project, into something new and exciting, but you didn't really get the time. November is going to be the time for that. I feel like, again, it can be connected to wanting to make a little bit more money. It can be a spiritual practice. Your focus is going to be on that. It could also be connected to communication in some way. Hmm. Finding a community, uh, finding a way to express yourself. Um, your focus is going to change this month. It's going to be on one specific project that is very personal to you. And I like that. I like that. Beautiful. Hierophant has center energy. Listen, this is no joke. Hierophant is, in my opinion, the card that comes and bless every reading. It's a very lucky energy. Whatever you're going to be focusing on this month, Whatever you're going to be putting your energy on is going to grow into something that makes you very happy and something that creates more abundance, more stability. And I like that. You're going to be starting some type of project uh, that can, that has the potential to be something long term and something that brings you more independence, it feels like. I like that. I don't know how Capricorn can be more independent. There already are, but listen. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, exactly. This is Hierophant energy. Again, King of Pentacles energy, Earth energy, something you're very comfortable with. Finally being able to put your time into something that will become abundant, uh, that will prosper. I really like that for you. Again, You've been putting so much of your energy into other people, into external things. This month is about you. And I feel like I've been feeling, well, you know, I've been seeing that a lot in your readings. And I don't think you had the chance to do that this year the way that you really want to. We're almost done with 2022. This is the time, November, December, and December, you know, a lot of people are celebrating Christmas, not everyone, but, you know, we have a lot of things to do in December, a lot of things to deal with. November is the month where it's going to be a little bit more calm. It's going to be finally the time where you set the tone for 2023. How do I want this year to be for me? How do I want this next year to be different from the year I just experienced, which again, it was a lot. It was a lot. Let's pick another. We have, oh, look at that. You are good enough. This is what I told you in the beginning, Virgo energy. All earth energy 
coming through, very grounded, very secure with yourself, um, you are good enough. You don't need to seek answers outside of yourself this month. Connect with your guides, connect with your ancestors, connect with yourself. Find ways to ground yourself, create some type of daily spiritual practice. Um, November, the veil is so thin. This is the best month to do spiritual work, to do any type of um, work connected. Again, our guides, our angels, our ancestors, whatever you believe in, you are supported always. And not only I feel like you're going to be focusing on the right thing for you, um, you're very supported. You're protected always. I know you know that. I know you feel that. And November is going to be a month where you feel it more than ever. Even in the moments where you're alone, you're not alone, really. You're always supported. And uh, I think that's very, very beautiful. So use your voice. Reclaim that independence. If you need time alone, say it, demand it. There's no negotiation this month. It's like, this is what I need and you're going to have to give it to me. This is this is how it goes. So take care of yourself, Capricorn. Um, focus on the sun energy. Focus on the sun energy. Make room in your heart for this energy to show up in your life. Because this is really, you know, what the sun is about making room in our heart for new projects, more abundance, more happiness. Um, and if for you this month, being happy is having more time alone, well, good. Um, you should take that card out of your deck if you have one, put it on your altar, put it on your fridge. If you don't have a tarot deck, use this card as your cell phone background and focus on this energy. Um, I think that this is going to be very beneficial for you. Thank you so much for being here always. Thank you for your support. Capricorn, I want to tell you, I have a Patreon now. If ever you want to come join us, um, I teach tarot there. I do, you know, bonus mystery readings. I talk with you guys. I show my face. It's like a small community and we talk about tarot and spirituality. And I just started. It's, it's very new, but I post a lot. So come join us. Uh, I want definitely I want more Capricorn in the Patreon. So come join us. I hope that you go take a look. The link is down below. I'm sending a big hug and I'll talk to you guys very soon for your bonus reading.